what's up guys and welcome back. This is a video that was filmed a couple weeks ago. I'm currently in BC filming a TV show as you guys know right now, but today's puzzle is pretty epic. By the way, look how empty empty this is. We're packing up, we're moving out. By the time we get back here, like this, this is probably one of the last videos I'll ever shoot in this space. Maybe the last one, so. Today's puzzle is by a guy named Bill Bucarelli or Bucciarelli. Uh, he hit me up uh, on the email with a request to solve his level 10 metal puzzle, which he made. So he is a machine operator, machinist, a CNC expert, and made a puzzle. He's got a website, perplexpuzzles.net. I'll leave the link below where you can check out this exact puzzle. It looks beautiful. It's got that same finish like Will Strebos' puzzles. Uh, looks really neat and it says here, wishing well and to recover the coin from the bottom of the well. Can't wait to get into solving it. This apparently is a level 10 because it's got 50 moves to take apart and then 50 more to put back together, which is uh, which is a lot. It's a lot. So without any further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into solving the wishing well. Here it is, the wishing well. All right, so we got instructions which we're going to read and then we got hints and if you look like you can even see through it here at the light there's like a crossword so it almost looks like the hints is a puzzle in itself uh, we won't be using this right now perhaps we'll use it later if the puzzle gets a little too difficult for us to solve the instructions are as follows wishing well puzzle goal is to recover the coin from the bottom of the wishing well sequential mechanical puzzle there's no magnets there's no need to spin or shake this puzzle there's no need to use excessive force please do not it will only damage the puzzle some pieces removed from the puzzle may be used as tools. However, not all pieces are designed to be removed completely. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, completely. Do not force it. Please do not bang, hit, pry, or pound this puzzle. So no spinning, no shaking, no banging. No, wow, okay. The disassembly and removal of the coin can be accomplished easily when taking your proper steps in the proper order. The puzzle is not considered completed until it is also fully reassembled. Interesting. If needed, there is a hint sheet to apply to this puzzle. The puzzle can be solved without these hints. Have fun and good luck. Without any further ado... Look how beautiful this is. This is like a nice matte ceramic powder coat that they got on this, which is beautiful. We got some brass here, some aluminum, some steel. This thing is just, just beautifully made. Here we go. Doesn't seem to be anything on the inside that I can shake or move around. Oh, we have our first piece. So that came out of here. This is our first tool here. Interesting. Oh, here. No, here. Huh. Oh, here we go. Let's get a second light over here. I feel like there's not a light on this side. This is a really cool puzzle. At least you guys can see this side of the puzzle too. So you're looking at all angles and none of them are darked out. All right, so um, this can go in there. Look at that. That comes out a little bit, look. It's like spring loaded. If I pull this, maybe I can move something else. So we'll pull that. No, okay. Doesn't look like it. There's also another place where I can insert this here. That doesn't seem to do anything either. Now what's interesting about this is that not only is there, this is kind of like a two piece tool here uh, because there is this sort of Allen key hexagon or octagon hexagon and also like this uh, the screw at the end of it. So the screw can act as something, but so can the, uh, so can the hexagon. Hmm. It's really interesting because I got nothing to go on right now. It's a button that doesn't move. Maybe that, that's where that was, that's where that started off, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. There's that as well. I don't know if that it probably shouldn't unscrew that, I guess. Did we try it here? Did not. There's nothing there for it to go in. So it does fit here and it does fit here. This is the only one that we found that does something where you can pull it out a bit. And if you pull it out a bit, I'm wondering if that unlocks something else. That's, I mean, that'd be my best guess, right? This one wiggles a little bit, but not, not enough for it to matter. Well, I can tell you that this is definitely a good puzzle <laughs> so far because we're five minutes in, we've retrieved one piece 
and uh and that's given us uh, it's gotten us nowhere really like we've, we've tested it out at multiple places but there's nothing if i screw it all the way in here maybe that'll do something it doesn't even go all the way in so that's as far as that goes there but this side is this a magnet on this oh there are no magnets he said right 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 i feel, I feel like that has something there's like a little hole in there at the end of that does it do anything that fits in there very nicely oh hello There we go. Oh, so if I unscrew that, look at that. So watch this screw here come out on this side, right? That's as far as that goes, that now it releases this ball here. Oh, cool. Oh, I unscrewed it and now it's like spring loaded. What? Okay, what does that do? Maybe I need to do something else before, like grab this one, pull it out. No. Huh, so that goes in there, that's really cool. I'm trying to push it in and screw it in. That doesn't seem to do anything. It's kind of so satisfying, this little button. But what does that little button do? Um, hmm. And that's screwed in now. How cool is that? <laughs> so cool. I feel like this has to release something, right? But there's so many things we haven't discovered yet. Like with this, like all these things screw in, it might be a different tool. It might be this tool, I don't know. But so many things, I feel like so many things are happening right now that we can, also nothing's happening. It's wiggling a little, but it's not coming out. So what's the point? Okay, because I only have one tool. If this if this were to come out and that would be another tool, that would help me immensely because then I'd take this and that's in there now part of it so I don't want to unscrew that because what does that do like I mean maybe I do maybe I unscrew it doesn't do anything um here there's a seems like a button here huh just trying to see if the tool doesn't come apart because that's been something in the past that has happened before oh so what if I have to take this oh it doesn't go through anymore oh cool so this, uh, this sphere was basically aligned like this so I can go through one side to unscrew that that was there. And now that that is loose, it now allowed me to go through. That is really cool, really ingenious. Still doesn't help me right now. It's more like a detonator, like, right? Or like a perfume bottle. Hmm. Should we? Should we use a hint? Let's try it out. Let's see what happens with the hints. I'm curious to know what the hints, what the hints hold actually. Remember these two words. They will open up a lot of doors in your life. Push and pull, unknown. More times than not, going backwards is a necessary part of going forwards. Pushing and pulling. More times than not, going backwards is a necessary part of going forwards. Backwards is a necessary part of going forwards. Okay, maybe we solve the crossword puzzle. A clue, this is so cool. Look at this. So it says here, solve the crossword puzzle to gain an important clue. But let's uh, let's try and figure it out, I guess. Might as well. So we got one across a long pole. What's a word for a long pole? I'm guessing that's a T or a P, right? Because there's an H beside there or an S. A shoot, like shoots and ladders, no? Short, shout. Three across this, that. This is that, this and that. Wow, wow, I'm just realizing how terrible I am at crossword puzzles. All right, five, to see, to view. Yeah, seven, something in motion. Oh boy, it's pretty vague. What about uh, six here, six down, at whatever time? At whatever time, whenever? Yeah, okay, that's good. 11 across, to bewitch, to vex, or to hex, right? Probably to hex, either way. I like this. I like that I have to work so hard for a clue. This is amazing. Okay, 13, Opening th openings through something. No idea. Uh, here, this one we got. We got some letters here on nine across. An upright position vertically. Vertically. Four. How bicycle spokes are arranged. All right. Eight. Plugs. Plugs or corks. Huh? Stoppers. That's got to be it, right? Stoppers. Thirteen across. Openings through something. Mm, still no. Ten. Opposed to front, back, top, and bottom. Huh? Opposed to front, back, top, bottom. I think I'm already stuck. 
Is there is there a hint page on how to solve the hint page? Because that would be that would be really cool right now. Twelve is four. Okay, we got that one. Two is the. And we got that, okay. Six D, what does that mean? Oh, down, across and down, got it, okay. Six down, one, two, three, four, five, six would be a V. Or is that the words? That's the words, oh, I get it. So six down would be whenever, whenever the, okay, this is cool, uh, one A, whenever the, mm, shoot, shoot, whenever the, let's just get the ones that we do have. Whenever the, sh something in motion spins titans moves moves m o v e s whenever the blank moves the blank being this one wherever the shaft which is this thing down here whenever the shaft moves radially or vertically view the blank holes for hex stoppers so within, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but within these two holes, there are metal bars that go like this. So my question here is if I take this out and go like this, move this around. No, those just stay there. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Just realized that my camera can only record for a half an hour at a time and we, I was looking at this time here and this is only when I started the timer. So we had to start it back up. What we're going to do though is, okay, this, whenever the shaft moves radially or vertically, view the something holes for hex stoppers, thinking this has to release something, right? Right? Like that's, oh, there we go. Okay. Boom. Oh, cool. Okay, so it it comes out like that, but then I can press it and it comes out further again. Do range, okay. Let's get my mat back here though. Now that this is out, maybe now I can do this thing. Oh, this now screws, hello. We have a second tool, this is amazing. Very cool. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, this moves too. Look at this. Look. So that now comes out. Okay. We're, we've got a lot of things happening right now. Got this back here. Maybe if I pull this out, this will go up. Oh. Oh. Did this rotate before? So this here screws out ever so slightly. Shoom. Once it screws out, you can pull it. And when you pull it, this thing turns. Can we turn it more? Yeah, this thing, oh, that just popped in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this and we're gonna go here. Now we're gonna, <laughs> and it turns more. Do we go back to the bottom and spin it again? Here we go. Oh no, that went back in. <clears throat> That's stuck there. It's not moving anymore. We have two tools. We are now here. Huh, let's rotate. Oops. Oh, so that comes out all the way now. What uh, what exactly is happening to this thing? So now we've got two of these bolts that are now out. We are now like very evolved in our puzzle. Over here, it looks like, oh, is that where? Okay, that pin's now on the inside. That was protruding earlier. And I don't know if this was where the, was this where, where this one was? Why do we have two of these now? So one of these is longer, so it's probably to get into spots that I couldn't get into before. This one here, yeah. So that's another button there. I'm guessing this probably rotates or goes, oh, there we go, and it's up again. Oh wow, you can kind of see like the direction here when we spun it, when we lifted it. So now this comes out, okay. Whenever the shaft moves radially or vertically, it's the shaft. When it View the holes for hex stoppers, okay. So I gotta look at the holes. Side, side holes, side. Whenever the shaft moves radially or vertically, view the side holes for hex stoppers. So whenever this moves, I need to look at the side. I don't know what hex stoppers are, but there's still bars going through these two here. So we're gonna, oh, there we go. That went up, that went up again. And now it moves, 
It moves this way again. This is good. Uh-huh. In here now, there's a hole. So there's no way you're gonna be able to see that, but in here, when I rotate it, there's a hole that opens up. Okay, that's really, that's really important actually. Is, the only, is that the only thing? Okay, I think we're just gonna go with what we were doing before, which is like one up, one down type thing. Did that move like that before? There's something happening. Every time I screw one of these in and pull. Oh, here we go, we got two of them. Why don't we just do two? Can we pull both of them? <clears throat> hmm, maybe I gotta get one of these in here again. There's this here, which is like the pathway. And I can kind of see it here. There's this too, so I can pull. More times than not, going backwards is a necessary part. Is a necessary part of going forwards. So we got a long one and a short one. But the long one here, maybe that helps us do something else. I'm kind of stumped here. I don't know what to do. I know that it says more times than not, going backwards is a necessary part going forward. So. I'm gonna try to backtrack a little bit of what I did, but I've, I'm have i kind of lost at the steps that I've taken so far. Did these multiple times, like up and down, up and down, but I'm not sure. Okay, now we're back to here. We're back to where this was on the bottom. This is just screwing in here. I think that's where that came from, so we're gonna take that out. Doesn't make any sense. God, just keep going back and forth on this. This is so hard to maneuver. I just clicked down and I didn't want it to. So now I gotta, I guess I gotta start over. Get it all the way down. This is insane. I mean, I've gotten this far. So this shaft has to come out and, and through, through rotations and whatnot. All right, you know what? I'm just going to randomly fiddle around with these things again, try to pull and push these, pull and push this, and get this shaft all the way out this time. Let's go. I've rotated this cylinder quite a bit now, and I feel like now might be a good time for it to start coming out. Bam, there we go, look at that. Look at that, isn't that crazy? So we're out now, I mean, we're almost there. And this isn't doing anything anymore. These two things aren't doing anything anymore. There's gotta be something else now. Huh? <laughs> Boom. Oh. Boom, we're out a little bit more. Alternating between these two things, this hole, this is inserting this everywhere, twisting and pulling and eventually, you know, we've landed here. This is, uh, this is good. I feel like this is a good place to be. Let's go, so I've had to go back, put it down, okay. So there are two uh, points where um, this had to uncover uh, a small screw. So one of them was I had to go back and find it in here. That was like a, like a pin locking this whole mechanism. So that's the reason I had to go back, unlock it, bring it back up. Now, once I was up there, I was stuck. So I brought it back a bit and I noticed in this hole, I also had to you know, screw something in, which unlocked the next step. So then it's like, I'm like two steps forward, one step back the entire time. This is, uh, this is pretty insane. Oh, yes. <sighs> Where's my coin? Where's my coin? Here's what it looks like. Even retrieving the coin looks to be tricky. So there's like a bolt holding down that coin. 
which I have to unscrew. It's really hard when you have fat fingers. Oh, and there. And there we have it. The treasure we've been looking for. My fingers are done. I am spent on this puzzle. Oh my God. What an, like, what an incredible feat of engineering. Very cool indeed. This guy, I mean, this guy's got a bright future in puzzle making. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> um, I know it says that I have to um, put it back together to fully officially solve it. Um, that's going to take me some time. Uh, and I'm not even sure how it is that I got there. So it's probably gonna take me more time to put this back together and I'll spare you all of that. Uh, what I will do, however, he did send me, he did send me an envelope with the solution inside. So that is probably something I'm gonna end up cracking open uh, before I put this thing back together, just because I'm literally, my brain's pretty dead at this point. Oh my God, sorry guys. I just checked out the solution to this. So these are all these are all the steps here. So have a look at this, this is pretty insane. It goes from step one to 10, to 20, to 30, to 40, to 50, and then step 53, that's how we, oh my God, that's how we got it out. That is all, look at all this, look at all of this. This is insane. This is the uh, this is the solution booklet here. So I'm gonna take a crack at this and probably use that to put it all back together. Hot dang! Oh, uh, as I mentioned, I used the solution to put it back together. Not um, that's just I mean honestly like I don't know if you can see the tips of my fingers right now are like raw. They feel like um, there's a lot of steps getting this back together. And there's a few parts where it's a little bit co uh, complex because so the hole that was down here and the hole that was over here that we had to go in there and unscrew or screw something uh, to reset it, you had to unscrew it, but then screw it slightly. And if you didn't do it exactly, the shaft wouldn't come down and it wouldn't, anyways. Uh, now that I've worked it out backwards as well and have the solution page, it would still probably take me 20, probably 15 to 20 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes at least. Uh, for, for his first puzzle, this is a gem. This is literally, this is a monolith. Um, also got a, you know, it's got a big price tag on about $950. So that's, you know, it's not cheap. Thanks guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Awesome.